I'd like to start with a confession. Last Sunday, whenever we worshiped together online, I was surprised by this overwhelming feeling of anxiety and, and self-pity as I just thought, you know, I am tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting for the time whenever I can give somebody a hug or can see people face to face or finally be able to celebrate or have get togethers with people that we normally would, would do. And I just wanted to cry out to God and say, I am just ready. I'm tired of waiting for things to be what I would consider normal. But you know, the Bible is full of examples where we are told to wait. David tells us in Psalm 27, 14, to wait patiently on the Lord, to be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently on the Lord. Jesus told his disciples that they needed to wait in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit to come after he ascended into heaven. And he told all of us in John chapter 14, he said, I go to my father's house. My father's house has many mansions. I'm going to prepare one. And if I go to prepare it, I'm coming again to receive you unto me. He's preparing a place for us. And as Christ's followers, we're told that we need to wait and we need to be prepared and ready for his coming. So the question is, what do we do in this time of waiting? Do I just continue to feel sorry for myself and, and have a little pity party? Or do I take time to recognize the blessings that God has given us? Do I take time to realize the fact that we can be together this morning, worshiping together online? Can I be thankful for the fact that my family is safe and healthy? Can I be thankful for the fact that we have enough food to eat? that we have a roof over our heads? And can I be thankful for the most wonderful thing of all that the God of the universe came to earth as a servant to give his life for us, to pay the price for our sins because he loves us. As Christ's followers, we don't have to wait in fear. We don't have to wait in sadness. We don't have to wait in isolation, but instead, we can wait with hope. We can wait with anticipation. We can wait with contentment. And we can wait with joy because of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and that covenant relationship that He has given to us.